Hi everybody, welcome back. And today we are going to be setting up a worm breeder bin. I have uh, African night crawlers. Um, this is a small three gallon, maybe not even a two gallon bin, uh, which I picked up from Ikea. It's literally yay big. I'll give you the sizes. I did have them, I can't remember what they are now. Anyway, it's not a very big bin. Um, and I have a hundred African night crawlers in here. So I wanted to see really how quickly these guys um, mate and reproduce uh, over a three week period. Um, I've chosen, I picked out a hundred of my um, adult worms from my other bin and I'm just gonna put them into fresh bedding. Um, it hasn't been sitting around and we're literally gonna make it and put it in and just see from start to finish uh, how this goes over the next three weeks. Um, I'm going to be using peat moss. I'm not going to be adding eggshells or any other grit into the bedding because my worm chow, which is what I'll be feeding these guys, already has all that in it. It has um, eggshells, it's got um, agricultural calcium, obviously all the other um, ingredients that I put in there as well. If you want to see what that is and what those ingredients are, I'll put a link for the video up above. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. Okay, so I'll put about three scoops in there. It's not a lot, but again, I don't want too much bedding in here um, because when I add the water, this will now expand. But I do want to give them a, a, a few inches, you know, two to three inches of bedding. And it's lovely peat moss. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of water there, just a little bit at a time. Now peat moss is really super absorbent. It holds water and holds moisture really, really well, which is why a lot of people use it in the garden. Um, unfortunately, the farming process of, of peat moss is really unsustainable. But in a country where I live, it's the, I live in Dubai in the Middle East and the, um, you know, it's the desert here. So water is obviously very scarce and I would rather conserve water um, then try to find another solution I hope you know coconut qua is good as well but in the garden sometimes it's really bad because it holds too much uh, water and not just that it makes the soil anaerobic so you could end up killing off your plants because they suffocate at the roots and they don't allow them the roots um, the coconut qua doesn't allow the roots to take up the nutrients In there. So I want this to be wet obviously, I don't want it to be too wet, I don't want people to be swimming in here, but I do want a slight, just close to saturation for the worms. And this, this will dry out. Um, you know, it will not dry, but it will soak up more of that water over the next couple of hours and days. Now, if I'm being totally honest, my real motivation in setting up this breeder bin is because um, I'm blind as a bat and I can never see the, the cocoons in my other bin. And it's just terrible. Even when I'm looking, I can't see anything. So I thought, what better way to actually have a dedicated bin where I can, you know, clean out every three weeks, remove the worms, and just be left with the cocoons, and I can actually see see them properly. Whether I do or not, whether I'm still a, you know, blind as a bat, is another story. But I wanna just see if there's a difference with what I can see, um, which is another reason why I'm not adding any cardboard or leaves uh, to, this, to this system. Okay, so the moisture level is quite good on this now. I'm getting a couple of drops out. Not sure if you can see that, yeah? And that's really what you want. You want just to be able to squeeze it. I've got quite strong, uh, quite a strong grip, and I'm getting a decent amount of moisture drop, dripping through. But there is, like I said, there's still dry, dry matter in here as well, which I'm just going to mix up. Right, and we're back. Okay, so this has had a couple of minutes 
to sort of get itself together. I'm just going to give it a little shake. You can still see some of the dry peat moss at the bottom. But the moisture level is really good in here, so I'm not going to get too, too worried about that. The only thing I'm concerned about is the fact that this hasn't been sitting for a couple of days and the microbes haven't been in there. Um, but with the worm chow and this moisture level, I don't have uh, too much of a concern because the um, because of the sugars and the bacteria, it should be good. What I might do is I might put a touch of worm tea in here just to boost those microbes, which is um, a quick and easy fix to if you want to add microbiology. And there is not much just a tiny bit of the bedding uh, from when i pulled out these worms and um hopefully the the microbiology in here will start to attract more in this new bin setup so let's just go ahead and just take a quick look at these so this one handful for me is a hundred African night crawlers. That is amazing. I love that. So I'm going to put these guys in. I just want to have a quick check to see if I've missed any wisps or anything from that was in the bedding when I was picking these guys out because I did find some in the pot not with not so much I found two I just want to double check I'm gonna try and make sure that there's no existing cocoons or anything in here if you guys see anything let me know So let's now just dump these guys in. Let's see if they take to this um, habitat. So these guys have started to go down. I think um, these will start to, I mean, these are still quite in a ball, but as you can see, the rest of these guys are starting to disappear down below, which is cool. I wanted, I wanted to give them a hand, but I just think they're under a little bit of stress from their new environment and being handled and tossed and turned and picked out and God knows what else. So I do feel, I do feel sorry for these guys. Moisture level's good. I'm going to put worm chow in this. As soon as these guys go down, I'm going to put some worm chow in here. Um, and then cover them up with a piece of paper. I'm just going to give these guys a quick uh, spritz just to see if it will get them moving. I know I don't need any more water in this system, but it's all good. And the chow will soak that up, so that seems to be fine. What I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and give these guys a light feeding so I'm not even doing a full I'm not going to do even a full tablespoon um, only because I usually feed two tablespoons every couple of days if not every day to my main bin which is where these guys have come from and there's a lot more worms in there um, but also their bedding is more nutritious and they, you know there's carbon and, and other stuff in that bedding as well which is what they eat feed through so uh, just under um, a tablespoon of worm chow in here uh, it will take a while for the microbiology to to take in this bedding and for them to start eating this and breaking this down but I don't have any uh, concerns about how quick that or how you know about when that happens because it will be pretty quickly um, the next thing for this is obviously this is just a, a, a paper bag um, from a grocery store 
and they just cut it up into size. Oops, sorry. Um, I'm just going to cover them up. I'm not going to put a lid on on this uh, on this worm bin. I haven't drilled any any um, ventilation uh, holes in this, um, and I'm, I don't want to use a a lid. So I'm just going to be using this sheet of paper, and I am going to spritz this down um, just to hold the moisture in. Because even though we had three days of epic rains in, in Dubai, uh, the temperatures are going back up again. So it's going to get very hot and humid. So I don't want these guys to, to have moisture issues. But it's just also to start breaking this down and it, it's good with the chow as well. And there we have it. So that's my first breeder bin. I'm going to just put a date on this bin for today and the date of harvest, which will be three weeks from today. And then I will also check in, uh, personally I'll check in on this bin every couple of days and give them food, but um, we will do a weekly update on this bin where we fluff and see how they get in on to see if we can see any cocoons together. Um, as always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Show some love for your boy. You know how to do it. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.